to my channel. Happy Vlogmas. Today I'm actually at Dollar General right now. I'm on my lunch and I ran here to see if they have Christmas tree cakes because, if you didn't see by the title, I'm making the Little Debbie Christmas tree cake dip and somebody that follows me sent this to me and it looked really good so and it's a big TikTok thing right now too but I have to get a few other things it takes cream cheese and Cool Whip so I'm gonna get those and I have milk and vanilla at home and I think that's the only other thing that it takes and I have to get little things to dip with so the most popular thing is vanilla wafer so I'm gonna grab that and then for like a little savory one since I feel like the dips can be really sweet I'm gonna pick up some pretzels in here so if Dollar General doesn't have them, there's one other store that I can try. Hopefully that will have them and I can make it today. But I'm going to run in here really quick, grab those because my lunch is only like 30 minutes and I have to get back home. But grab all of that and then I'm going to go home and make it tonight. I'm going to set you up right here. I'm going to do a little a little run through with you. I found everything except for the vanilla wafer, so I got graham crackers instead. Um, but I got pretty much the last two boxes of the vanilla because there was a few boxes of the chocolate, which I might try that too, but got pretty much the last two boxes of the vanilla Christmas tree cakes. But the most exciting thing that I found were these Santa Claus mugs because I've been looking for Santa Claus mugs literally everywhere. Oh, she wrapped them up really good for me. Sorry for all the crinkly paper, but I've been looking on Amazon, looking everywhere, and they're like $20 everywhere else, and I found these for three bucks, and they're so cute, and they're actually like pretty big, like they would hold a lot of hot chocolate or coffee, whatever you put in here, but I thought they were so cute for three dollars when usually they're like 20 plus anywhere else, so very happy that I found those and then I just got pretzels and Cool Whip but I found everything else so very happy I'm gonna go home and probably have this for dessert tonight and I'll just bring you guys along making it and everything I hope it's good everybody kind of compares it to like the Dunkaroo dip if you've ever had those so fingers crossed I'm gonna set you right here okay so I'm getting ready to put it all together, but I don't know if I said everything that you need, so I'm gonna run through all the ingredients. So you need a third cup of milk, vanilla, a whole block of cream cheese, a whole tub of Cool Whip um, thawed, and then you need two boxes of the Christmas tree cakes, and then whatever you wanna serve it with, Kyle's already got into these but I bought some pretzels I said that earlier and graham crackers because they didn't have vanilla wafers so that is what I'm going to be dipping it with and I did pull one out of the package so I'm gonna break a little piece off of it and try it really quick because I haven't had a little Debbie cake and I don't know how long mm. so good but so bad for you and I'm about to put two boxes into this dip, so. Yeah. Let me grab my water. Ugh. So, I don't think this is going to take very long. It seems pretty cut and dry. Just unwrap all of your little Christmas tree cakes, throw them in a bowl. I'm using my KitchenAid mixer and just chucking them all in here with your Cool Whip and your cream cheese and your milk and your vanilla and it is a ready to go. So I think this would be really good for maybe like a little appetizer, or a little dessert for like a Christmas party or your family Christmas. But I'm gonna mix it all together and do a little taste test and let you guys know how it is. But I just know that it's gonna be good because it's sugar and cream cheese and Cool Whip. So how could it not be good? Not the best for you, but I bet it's gonna taste really good. <laughs> I 
my little Christmas tree cakes in here. So I'm just gonna put that in my KitchenAid mixer. And then I'm just gonna dump the rest of the stuff in there and mix it all together. So my cream cheese has been sitting out for a little bit. It's not completely softened, but I would recommend to leave it out, have it at room temperature. And remember, same with your Cool Whip um, thought, don't leave it frozen just so everything mixes together really well. Oh, I almost forgot my milk. But I'm just gonna dump all of this in here, mix it all together, and together on this little plate and I have pretzels on one side and graham crackers on the other because they didn't have vanilla wafers so I'm gonna try it with the pretzel since it's pretty sweet but when I licked a little bit off of my mixer the cream cheese kind of makes it not as sweet I don't know it's weird but I'm still gonna try it with the pretzel then I'll try it with the graham cracker you usually don't like sweet stuff so no, I was about to say <laughs> disclaimer sweet stuff is not my cup of tea. I am savory through and through. Mm. Mm. I love how I got a huge bite and you're like... <laughs> got more pretzel on it. <laughs> it is pretty good. I was really hesitant when you told me about those because I don't like those. These aren't very, these aren't as sweet as I remember them being either. I don't know. Well, I guess even if you're not a sweets person, you might like this because Kyle is definitely not a sweets person. I'm the sweets person out of us and he is the salty person. But I'm gonna split this up into some little like Tupperware containers and then um, Kyle's cousin lives right next door so I'm gonna take some to her and then I might take some to his mom and sister and my mom, see if she wants to stop by and pick some up because it's really good but it makes quite a bit and we definitely will not eat this whole thing by ourselves. But. I do think it would be good with vanilla wafers if you wanted to try it with something different, but it's good with the graham crackers and the pretzels. So another little old people thing that Kyle and I do, actually we got the idea from his grandparents, is to save Tupperware containers that we get from like fast food restaurants. These ones are from a little coffee shop that we go to, and this one is actually from Kyle's grandparents. It's a little KFC one, but I'm going to split the dip up into these and then hand it out since, like I said, we don't need to eat all this by ourselves, and it would probably go to waste if it sat in our fridge, but that is what I'm going to do. Put them with like little bags of pretzels and graham crackers since I have a lot of that left over, and a little reusing and recycling. <music>
deliver these and in this vlog right here. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. The recipe was really fun to make. It was really easy and pretty cheap to make, honestly. So if you need a little dessert or just want a little sweet treat that's kind of festive, I would recommend trying it. I will leave that link down below for you guys so you can get the recipe for yourself. I will also leave my social media link down below if you'd like to follow me there. And please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you like this video and if you want to follow along with my other vlogmas videos turn on your post notifications i am going to do my best to post every single day until christmas whether that's going to happen or not i don't know but i will leave everything linked down below comment if you tried this but i think that is all i have for today's video and i will see you guys in the next one bye guys